Thank you for watching my video tutorial on cloning stamp tool. Um, I'm going to use this tool to help with my hybrid animal. I'm going to show you how. Um, but first I want to open up my uh, file. So I'm going to go ahead and go to um, my documents where I saved it last, or my T drive. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, double click on my file here and it'll open up. Uh, remember, you um, can hit ignore profile, don't ask again, check that box and hit OK. Uh, otherwise, if you decide to double click on the PSE blue Photoshop icon, um, ignore profile, make sure you do not register, and then do a file open, and then find your T drive or my documents and open the file. And uh, make sure you click edit. That's that orange button there. Um, and uh, you're ready to go. All right. So if you can remember in my previous tutorial, I placed, um, I copied and pasted the head of the dog and put it onto the background. So it's overlapping it's on new layer so I'm gonna go ahead and use the clone stamp tool uh, make sure you hit s for the clone stamp tool if you hit s again you'll see a little pattern tool here and you'll notice there's this kind of like texture that we're going and this is kind of the pattern stamp tool and I'm just gonna make my brush bigger by hitting the right bracket tool and you'll see that it makes these kind of weird bubble things so I'm gonna go ahead and hit control Z to undo so we don't want to worry about this uh, bubbles texture I'm gonna go ahead and hit s again so uh, remember, the clone stamp tool is what you want. S, if you hit it again, you get this pattern stamp tool you don't want. So I'm going to hit S again. Make sure those pattern goes away in the corner here. And I'm going to make my bracket or my brush size bigger by hitting the right bracket tool. Remember, the bracket is right diagonally from the backspace, um, diagonal left um, on the keyboard. And I'm going to zoom in by holding Control and hitting Plus so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, maybe make this bracket, uh, hit the left bracket to make it a little bit smaller. And you'll notice there's some extra space here and maybe a little bit here that I want to fix. So it looks like the head fits nicely and there's no extra space from the original image from the hawk. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm on the correct layer, which is layer one. Okay, That dog head, you'll see that in the thumbnail. And I'm going to go ahead and s establish my source point. If you don't establish your source point and just click, an error is going to come up and it'll say could not use the clone stamp tool because the uh, you need to define the source point by alt clicking okay so make sure you're in the correct layer so I'm in the dog head layer and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, go to the background because I want to select this background to go over this area right here so I'm in the background picture I'm gonna make my bracket just a little bit smaller hold the alt key you see it turns into a target so I'm holding the alt key and I just click once okay so it's in that background and then I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag, and you'll notice that it's getting rid of that area here. And that's kind of nice. Um, hit Control-Z to undo. You can always make it a finer brush if you want to by clicking on the finer brush instead of a blurry brush. And I'm just going to establish my source point again. Let's go a little bit lighter because it looks like there's lighter area. I don't want to grab the darker, so I'm going to click here, just release then, and just click and drag. Okay, now if you notice, it's not working because I'm on the wrong layer. It's a mistake. So I'm going to undo, make sure I click on the background layer, establish my area by alt-clicking, release, and then I'm just going to go ahead and drag this area. Now I'm going to undo, because that doesn't look right. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more, and just uh, wrong layer, so make sure I'm on the background layer. And you'll notice it's starting to take some shape here. Okay, and you'll see there's kind of some rough edges, so I'm just going to go to the R, or um, smudge tool. R is the shortcut. If I hit R again, get this kind of blur tool. And so I'm going to hit R until I get to the smudge tool. And I'm going to make my bracket a little bit bigger. Remember, make sure you're on the background layer and just kind of blend it in a little bit. Okay, it looks very nice because it's a blurry background. So it's okay that I do this. And it looks really kind of pro. So I'm using my clone stamp tool. Okay, and then I'm going to use my R, uh, S for clone stamp tool. Establish my source point by hitting Alt, click. Okay and then just clicking and dragging and then hit R for my smudge tool and you'll notice I have kind of a legit looking background. Now that, I can get away with that because it's a blurry background. Um, you might want to just make sure if you are using kind of a it's not so blurry you can go ahead and select a different brush a little bit sharper like I showed you. Okay, So the keys are is to establish a source point, uh, make sure you're on the correct layer and make sure you're in the right tool. Okay, So this will get rid of any excess background. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and remember, I make mistakes too, but I showed you how I corrected them. So it's okay to make mistakes, just as long as you undo 
incorrect. All right, great job. Keep it up. Here we go.